Hey folks, Termine Guy coming back at you. Today, I'm at the Orono Council Chambers. And why you ask? Because I want to help you understand what the Orono City Council had to say about you, their residents and citizens, the last meeting they had when you were not here. And it's crazy to me that they felt they had to defend themselves for something they weren't even voting on, it wasn't on the agenda. And heck, if you're defending yourselves, you must have something to defend. Now what to watch for in this video? Well, Mayor Walsh begins by, and he says, hey, you know what? All citizens and people should have the right to be respected when they come up and speak. Unfortunately, him and other council members then go on to denigrate us, denigrate us in our protests to the point where they called us embarrassing for having a positive protest where we affirmed each other. Embarrassing. That's crazy in this whole world of violent protests going on, the city council's embarrassed because they were support for each other in sa trying to save Summit Beach. Something else to look for is when Walsh tries to say that when we come to him with our facts, that our facts are skewed. And you've got Victoria Seals calling things we had to say misinformation and that they have to control the narrative. Hmm, where have I heard that before recently? And it's going on right at City Hall now. Now, something else to look for is Walsh does admit that the city knew the process how to redevelop Summit Park, but they didn't follow it. Also look for the fact, and you may not know this, but Walsh had nothing to do with redeveloping Lurton Park, although it sure seems like he's trying to take credit for that best part of this whole video is when Victoria Seals actually admits that the whole thing went off the rails, they didn't follow their process, and it was a terrible idea. The city needs to develop the park themselves, which is what we were here to tell them. Well, let's watch a video and have some fun. I think everybody deserves to have their word heard. Nobody deserves to be as disparaged about coming up and making their word. I guess I just want to have a couple minutes to uh, talk about our planning commission the other day, where I know we had a number of people come that got up and talked, and some of them uh, talked very graciously, some of them uh, threw a lot of aspersions out there, but I think when you come up here and start uh, throwing aspersions at people, saying that you don't want, that they, no one else gets to talk, because we're not in communist Russia, um, it kind of diminishes everything that you come to say after that when you start aligning yourself with other people that uh, are cast aspersions and make up things also. Uh, why do people do that? Well, it's not as good of a story without uh, making it, hyping it up and doing a uh, GoFundMe page or anything else. I thought the conversation was embarrassing with the clapping, the, you know, antics. I mean, that is not, how you exchange ideas and opposite opinions. So, and there, there actually is a park that we had a number of years ago called Lurton Park that was an idle land, and it sat there doing nothing. And this family that was so gracious to donate it to us uh, thought it would get more use, but it never got any use. And they, uh, they set aside money to. Uh, burn all the grass down so they could have all the natural grass going there. And we went to them and asked them if we could make it into a dog park. Obviously, we, we needed to get their buy-in for that because they actually did have restrictions on the land. But in the end, they said they really want to see the park used. They want to, and so with that, we did have to build things. We had to build fences, we built structures, and we, uh, with the neighbors, got it all to work for everybody. And it was a win-win situation. And, yeah, and then at least the correct narrative mm -hmm. that, that the, 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 of, the, of the real facts, not the skewed facts for yeah. getting people worked up or doing a fundraising page. So it is a little bit kicking it back to parks, but it's also us as a council being a little more involved, and specifically me on this one, just to kind of get it back where we feel like it's got the right conversation happening. It was very apparent last week that the conversation was being ha held on social media. And what's frustrating about that is um, a lot of residents were upset. And they were upset because they had a lot of misinformation. And 
what I would like for us to do is to form a committee and take back the conversation. Is that the park is city owned and so the city should come up with a plan for the park. Now, I don't know what that means, right? Because that's not just me deciding. But what I'd like to see us do is, since this thing is going a little off its rails, but the point would be is, instead of starting with like, we think this would fit here, it would be like, let's let's rewind it back and start at the beginning. And I think we tried to do that, and we usually do that with most of our parks, but for whatever reason, this is, this went a different route, so we kind of get back on the right track, right? Because obviously when you end up on, you know, Channel 5 News and Star Tribune, it might be a little off track. And when, so this one's more to pull it back on track, to your point. Just like I said, your city council is denigrating you and me. They agreed that what they did was wrong and not right. You know, they didn't follow city process. They didn't put out RFPs. They didn't do anything they should have done to develop that park right. But what did they do? They blamed the residents standing up for Summit Beach and Mr. Dayton instead of looking in the mirror and taking responsibility for themselves. Turbine Guy, signing off.